In this video, I want to recreate another scene from Magnets Media. Are you ready? Let's go. This video is part 2 of the Magnets Media playlist, so remember to watch the other parts too. First, we need to download some stuff. An old folder, an image of a person, wood image, old paper, clip paper, and an old font like a newspaper. And you can download free fonts from these sites. Then, as always, we open Photoshop. First, make new project with these settings. Import all your images into Photoshop if your images is all PNG format good for you. If it's not, just use the wand tool and select the area you want to remove. Then hit the backspace key on your keyboard, change the size and position of them and put them in the right place. Adding a slight shadow to paper layer make it appear more real. Then make a border for the image with the rectangle tool. Choose a dark gray color for the border. And move your mouse from top to down to create a rectangle. Then make edges sharp by move this little circle. Select your dark gray color from the fill options and make the stroke invisible. Move it under the image layer. Then go to filter, distort, choose wave. Click on Randomize to get a little wave on the borders. Click OK. Then change the size to get a better looking border. Make another rectangle with a sharp edge. The black line should be on top of the folder for the title. Change the size of the paper again to get something like this. Duplicate the old paper layer and put it on top of the black rectangle. Put your mouse between the two layers and hold Alt to move the paper to the rectangle shape. Change the blend mode of the old paper layer to color burn to get the paper texture on the black line. If you have a different image, you may need to select a different mode. Make a text layer and write your text. For this project, I wrote medical reports. If your project is about something else, write different title, then choose your old font. Duplicate the text layer for next text. Then, select black color. Write information about the person, such as their name, age, and gender. Increase the distance between lines a little bit. For more detail, select the paper clip. With the eraser, erases some parts to make it look like it's holding papers. You can add some shadow to the black rectangle and folder layer too. Now export it as PNG. Step two, import it into CapCut with your wood background. Drag the wood image into the timeline, then, Place PNG image we designed earlier on top. Add a text layer, increase the duration, and write Diagnosis. Choose your old font layer to match the original image. Choose black color. Make it small and place it at the bottom of the paper. Then write your text. Choose. Then choose left to right. Move it under the top text. In animation, choose type one to mimic a typewriter effect. Increase the duration to make the animation longer. Duplicate the text layer, delete all text, and press the negative key on your keyboard to make dotted line. Put it under the last word. Trim the beginning of the line layer so it comes after all the text is typed. Make animation faster for line. Select all layers and increase the duration. Move both text layers a little further because at the beginning of the layer, it should be empty. Because we need two seconds time for folder to come out of shot. Then select all layer instead of wood background. Make a compound clip. Now we need to animate folder to come to shot, but we won't using animation. But why? It's easy and it will speed up our editing. Actually, the animation part for in and out has a lot of good movement, but sometimes they don't work for some projects. 
For example, here, if I use roll right, it will give me the motion I was looking for, but it doesn't come from out of the shot, giving an illusion of that movement. To avoid that mistake, we should use keyframes. Go to second two and make keyframes for position, scale, and rotation. Go to the beginning of the timeline and move the folder out of shot to the left side, then rotate it to negative 55. The result is this. Make a keyframe at the current position, then move it near the second keyframe. Go a little further and scale the folder and rotate it a little bit to focus more on the last word. The result is this. Now, make another keyframe at the current position with scale and rotation. Then, select the second keyframes, copy them with Ctrl C, and paste them here. Now, the folder will go back to its first location. Right click on the folder layer and show keyframe animation. Make all position, rotation, and scale keyframes auto curve to get smoother movements. Now, it's time for color grading. Because our project is from the past and should look old, colors shouldn't be so bright and fresh. Decrease saturation, brightness, highlights, shadows, and other parts to make it dark and old. The vignette is important because it adds shadow around corners to focus more on the subject. Finally, move the temperature to the cold side to make it look older. Now, add some effects to the layer. In the texture part, add old one to add some noise to the background. Decrease the atmosphere to remove the orange light frame from the background. You can also use other effects, but let's keep it simple. Then, add the hazy effect from the lens section and make sure it's at the time when the camera zoom in on the text. Now, create keyframes for blur, going from 0 to 50 for the in effect, and from 50 to 0 for the out effect. And final result should be this. And done. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll dive into another scene from Magnates Media. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe the channel, and hit bell for new tutorial. And as always, stay creative. <laughs> True.